Welcome back to A Closer Look. My guests here are from King College, Jody Helbert and Ashley Harlow. So glad you all are here. And we've been talking about the online bachelor's degree of social work. And it's very interesting. And the need is very interesting as well. Yes. So talk a little bit about who can call themselves social workers. Well, social workers have title protection, and so this is a nationwide law that protects the social work title. So it ensures that the positions of uh, social work are being filled by graduates of social work programs who are accredited by the Council on Social Work Education. And so only those people can call themselves social workers. Let's talk about the accreditation at King. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so. Um, Although King is new, I mean the, the, the BSW program at King is new, mm -hmm. um, the, the program itself has a, a 40 year existence um, in the Tri-Cities that we've had continuous accreditation through the Council on Social Work Education. And so the accreditation is very important and because the accreditation process is very rigorous, um, it, it ensures to employers and to students that the faculty have undergone rigorous um, screenings to be um, to hold national standards, mm -hmm. um, that the uh, the coursework is uh, rigorous, that it meets certain standards uh, towards the council, and that we were recently affirmed for um, our next cycle. So um, we're accredited through 2024 at King in the BSW. Oh, that's amazing, yeah. Yes, thank you. A lot of people don't realize that accreditation is really a process that is, uh, you've got to have the T's crossed and the I's dotted because they really look at everything whenever you talk about that. Yes. Now let's talk about this being online. The online program, I guess, comes online in mm -hmm. August, mm -hmm. correct? Yes. And why this? It just opens up more areas for people or what was the addition added? Absolutely. So we are we're pleased to have it in our traditional format for students who are traditional Monday through Friday main campus. Um, and then we have it in Abingdon currently on when, or Tuesday night, excuse me, from 6 to 10 so students meet one night a week one class at a time, each class being five weeks, and it's a 16-month program. So taking that to an online format opens it up to a, just a wider area. Students from, you know, further out than just here in the Tri-Cities in Southwest Virginia can take that. Um, and we also have it just because of scheduling. You know, if I'm a shift worker and I work second shift, I, I can't do that yeah. six to ten. So, um, you know, I want that career change, but it's just I, I can't make that class meeting so to take it online is a great opportunity for these individuals and they do that same format one class at a time each class being five weeks they'll have specific assignments due at you know different times within the week but typically a discussion board midweek and then final assignments by Sunday and things vary obviously from course to course and week by week but that's the typical setup for our online program and it just it works for some people and you know if you have kids and you just can't find a babysitter every night for 16 months that that can kind of feel that too so just based on different scheduling we felt like that would be a great opportunity well it seems like everybody nowadays uh, stays so busy and they never have any time to go out and do what they need to do so uh, this kind of makes it easy for them to kind of Right. make their schedules meet, I guess. Uh, special honors programs, can someone discuss that for me? Sure. Um, in social work, there's a national honor society called Phi Alpha, and the King University BSW chapter is Chi Omega. And so that started um, in last May, and we have, have had two inductions since, so we have a series of wonderful, very talented students who have um, access to an array of scholarships because of their membership in Phi Alpha. It's a lifelong membership. Had, we were talking earlier about uh, social work and, and all the areas that it entails. It, it just doesn't kind of niche into one area, but it covers a, a vast majority of our area and other areas across the U.S. Absolutely. There's so much that students can do with a BSW degree, um, in addition to preparation for a master's degree if they choose to go to graduate school. Um, they can do medical social work, child protection, foster care and adoption, 
um, legal social work, policy analysis. They can even do things like pharmaceutical sales because of the, the neuroscience background that they get in social work. Um, counseling, they can start out right away doing substance abuse counseling. Um, they can do uh, veterinary social work, which is uh, incredible. Uh, it's been proven so successful on an evidence-based scale um, that animal-assisted therapy has been so helpful to our clients. Now, the online program, if I started out today using the online program, how long is it going to take me to get this degree? It depends on what your academic background is. So typically mm -hmm. students who have around 60 semester hours of transferable college coursework, it'll take you about 16 months. Um, you can obviously do it quicker than that, but you know we partner with our local community colleges and we're definitely very proud of those relationships that we fostered. So associate degree students, they transition seamlessly into these programs and we're really, you know, if somebody has been out of school for 20 years, you know, we're really proud that we can work with those individuals as well to create a plan of study, but for the most part students can enroll and complete a program in about 16 months. And you're there to help them and, and push them along and if they have difficulty in maybe a certain area then they may, you know, I guess come to the school and, and mm -hmm. maybe get some personal attention, I guess. Absolutely. So if they are face-to-face, -face, um, they meet with a faculty member every week. Um, and, you know, sometimes they don't feel like after four hours of class they really want to go <laughs> speak to their professor. So they can contact them via email, phone, or if they want to schedule a face-to-face -face appointment. We also have tutoring services. They have a student success specialist who acts as an advisor while they're enrolled. They really have a lot of resources at their fingertips and we try to make those available to them, try to make that um, well known from the beginning and have you know, financial aid, someone to speak to them about that. So if at any time they need assistance, we want to be there. And so even though I'm on the enrollment management side of things and that admissions role, I want to make sure that if three semesters in, they have a question or a need, I may not be able to answer that, but I can connect them to someone who, who can. Now you, you all have to be pretty proud. I mean, US News and World Report, you've all made that list. You made several other lists as being mm -hmm. a very advanced college. We are, and we're military friendly, we're very proud of that mm -hmm. as well, but um, you know, it's, it's one of those things we strive to be better every day. You know, faculty and staff, everyone across the board, we really push to be the best and push to be, you know, great academics, um, student life, student affairs, all across the board, we really, really strive for that. Right. Now, you, you all have a, a religious background as far as the university in itself. Right. We are affiliated with the Presbyterian Church. Mm -hmm. Now do you receive funding from them or is your fun funding strictly from federal and state dollars? We have, well we're a private institution so of course we have an endowment, mm -hmm. um, private investors, things like that. We have um, you know students with federal financial aid funding, things like that, but we, we rely heavily on private investors as well. Now do you get a lot of support locally from the communities throughout Northeast Tennessee and Southwest Virginia, I'm sure. We do, we do. That's incredible. And we just had um, a college, the College Dream Contest, and that was on mm -hmm. one of our sister stations on 98.5 WTFM. And that <clears throat> seemed to be a really successful uh, type of uh, campaign. It was. We are so, so excited about that process. Right now we are actually in the voting. We had, um, goodness, I, I <laughs> could not tell you the number of applicants. I could only that We had applications that came through, but we have narrowed that down um, to five with WTFM. They're online to vote, mm -hmm. and the and the winner will be announced on Monday, and mm -hmm. we're you know, we're just so thankful to have partnered with WTFM through this process and to have all those fine applicants come through the process. And, you know, I was not on the committee to pick those top five, and I'm thankful for that. They, it was just so many wonderful qualified applicants we had this year. And for the folks that don't know, what will the winner receive? The winner will receive full tuition for their chosen program. So we included social work, education, business administration, mm -hmm. RNBSN, um, several of our different graduate and professional studies programs. So that 16 month program plus the books mm -hmm. is included in that. So you all have been busy because you, you just had Josh Turner there with a sold out uh, concert at uh, Viking Hall. and. What upcoming events have, have you gotten? I know summer's coming up and that's a good time to get out. 
Absolutely. So we actually are um, getting ready to do our president's inauguration on Friday, August, or April. Mm -hmm. Wrong month, <laughs> April <laughs> seventh, um, and we're we're so thankful to have him in place. We've um, we're thankful to have Dr. Ray as our interim, and mm -hmm. to put President Whitaker in. We're ready to get that process going for him, and we have a lot of alumni events. We're celebrating our 150th year, and um, a lot of events will be taking place in Knoxville, Atlanta. We're going to wind that up in August with a Symphony of the Mountains concert, um, probably in late August. That's going to be fantastic mm -hmm. as well. What, what do you feel, and either of you can answer this, um, sets King apart from other schools? Do you? I think our uh, Christian perspective on, on the world, on our worldview, mm -hmm. makes, makes us different. Um, and the way that our faculty and our staff and everyone at King embraces our students, we are truly Christ-centered and student-focused. Mm -hmm. So we, um, we, we certainly seek to embrace our students and, and help them to be successful. Do you find that you, most of your students are kind of drawn to the fact that it is a religious-based programs that you offer, that you know, they're able to, to feel you know, that, that mm -hmm. need there, you know? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I think, you know, especially traditional students, they have a requirement mm -hmm. to go to chapel and convocation, things like that. So, um, you know, to know that you have to do so many hours in a semester, if, if that's not a draw for you, that, that's going to be a real struggle. And to put that on yourself semester after semester for four years or two years, whatever mm -hmm. your format may be, um, you know, in my opinion, I went to a school very similar background, very similar um, liberal arts platform. and the King character sticks out to me. Just the individuals there, the caring, the community, um, you don't find that everywhere. And so to have that religious background, um, I think does draw people in. And if, if people wanna go over and visit your campus, I'm sure you're always happy to. Absolutely, I can't go to the doctor's office without them saying, oh, I walk at King. <laughs> <laughs> and there's so many Everyone's people welcome. from around here that has yeah. actually gone uh, to the university. and. And that's nice. As we wrap up with about uh, 60 seconds, uh, folks can, can contact you uh, concerning the uh, online bachelor's degree of social work. Mm -hmm. And that would, uh, they can get a hold of you or contact the school in any way, right? Yes, absolutely. And there are great things on the horizon, so please contact us. And all you have to do is uh, contact one of these fine individuals here, Miss mm -hmm. Jody or Miss Ashley, and uh, we, uh, we can get them going and get, uh, get people in the right direction. And the online program again starting in August, so mm -hmm. you want to make sure that you get that in. Thank you all so much Thank for you. being here and being my guest on A Closer Look. Wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank you.